Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to episode 5 of the College Football 25 Road the Glory series featuring Joe Nero Jr. I apologize for the little gap in between episodes here, not something that's going to be a problem going forward. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump into it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second ever home game of Joe Nero's career, a night game in the rain. Now, we did have a bye week, so I skipped that. Didn't want to show that in the videos or whatnot. But, dude, just look at these jerseys on this field. I don't know if that's going to work to our advantage or not. Being all teeled out like this, like, I might have a hard time seeing my receivers. But maybe the defense, and I, I know it's, I'm reading too much into it. Maybe, you know, the defense is going to have a hard time keeping track of where people are. And maybe when they're on offense, they're not going to see where our defenders are at. I highly doubt that's how that works. But, dude, I just, I, I just dig the jerseys. See... Why did he not ever just turn around? He was wide open the entire time. He could have just turned around, caught the ball, ran at the field, big gain, big plays, big money. But nope. Mm, I even threw it up into the right for him, too. I wanted to keep him more on a fly route there, but the way it was drawn up, he had to cut into the middle, and he wasn't even looking back at me, so I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Just a very ugly first drive there. It's also the first time I've played in the rain, so I'm curious to see how it's going to affect things. Last game, my team had a pretty difficult time holding onto the ball to begin with, so we'll see if anyone gets any slippery hands. Not to bring up the old high school days, but I um, actually never minded bad weather because I played receiver and safety. I was always kind of taller and skinnier back in school, and uh, so I had the gloves on, right? And those gloves, if they got soaked, they were soaked, but a little bit of moisture actually made them stickier, so... We'll see how this goes here. Right now, we're just kind of easing things in with the run game. Washington with the hurdle and the easy first down. I'm glad to see that he's back as well. He missed like half of last week's game. Man, let's get them blocks. Not bad. Not good. But not bad. <laughs> Coach is finally going to let me put it in the air here. I don't know. Washington's looking pretty... Winded there. Yeah, we're just going to give it to him. I know that linebacker was like right there. You may be thinking, well, why did he give it to him? I was watching the tight end who was going for the RPO. He was being covered entirely. All right, so here we have the motion to B. Tucker coming across. I like the motion to B. We're going to look for that first. If not, we're going to try and dump it to Tucker. And there he is. I threw it a little bit too early, though. I didn't let him like get out ahead of it. That's okay. That's okay. Old Dominion ain't got nothing on the Coastal Carolina Cox. After last week's game, we're going to have to start naming ourselves the Cardiac Cox because that was such an incredible comeback, man. I mean, right now, bad weather. The run game's working. It's the first quarter, and I'm not sure if I've really done anything this entire first quarter, but you know what? We're only down by three. About to be crossing the 50. Ah, we're getting there anyway. <laughs> mm, you know what, coach? We're going to call a mulligan here. You're going to let me call this one because I really don't like the idea of just another run play that might get stuffed where we end up having the punt. Catch that. Hold on to it. Easy first down. And I was going to do a hurry up there, but that's the end of the first. Every now and then, you got to tell coach, you know what? We got to do something besides the inside give from the shotgun. <laughs> I mean, he is, dude, their running back has seven carries. He's averaging 11. I guess he had like a 40-something yard carry, which is crazy, but. Ooh, what is this defense here? Let's see what that safety wants to do. He's going back. Yes! That was so no way. Dude, last second, I'm like, you know, let's do this. <laughs> Oh, that was risky. I'm, the more I'm playing the game, the more I'm realizing those deep balls. And dude, that was Carr even. That was even Kane. But those deep balls, like, they don't seem to get picked off nearly as much as they do in Madden. It might be because of, like, the the overall discrepancies or disparity, I think is the word I'm looking for, in between all the different teams. You know, Old Dominion is not exactly that great. You know, therefore, you know, their corners and whatnot, it's not like they have a bunch of, like, 90 overalls back there. They have, like, probably 70s and maybe an 80 or something in there, you know? And as such, you kind of have more free reign. Please catch that. You have more free reign to take those shots downfield. And watching back in my own videos, I'm noticing that Tom Brady would hate me 
Because one of the things that he talked about in one of his many interviews since he retired was um, how you don't want to hurt your players. You know, like, sure, the guy's open on the slant route. He might get it, but he's going to get absolutely cracked. And when those people take hits like that, they get hurt. They don't want to try for the catch next time. You know, you got to try to, like, give, give them the ball in open space as compared to just, like, getting them killed. There we go. But you know what? Every now and then... We got to play some hard-nosed football. It's Coastal Carolina. We are now a juggernaut powerhouse with a record of 3-1. and one. That went nowhere. Another halfback draw. I don't like how we like get scared on the 50-yard line. Like We'll come out passing sometimes, but then once we get around the 50, coach is just like, run, 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 which times like that, it feels okay. But I hate fizzing out drives around the 50. It, it's like my least favorite thing. All right, let's see this here. And swing. You got to juke him. Juke him. Juke him. Okay, or, or just try to run him over. I feel like you're a pretty fast back. You could have just juked and got that first down. So I'm talking about fizz now around the 50, man. I hate it. I despise it. Oh, well, we're going to have to worry about that here unless I take like a really, really bad loss. Putting it up to him. I threw it high. Hoping he would go up there for you know big play, but maybe not. Alright, last time we tried running one of these, I threw a pick six. <laughs> Let's see what happens. And there he is. You got your blocks out in front of you. Oh, okay. We should have cut to the outside there, but hey, looks like he got the first. Okay, no, he didn't. I thought he had the first. Oh, they're bumping up on us even. Come on, man. There you go. Get that first down. No, and Christian got hurt. He doesn't look very hurt to me, but he is injured. <laughs> it said at the bottom. So that slot fade here was open last time. I have a feeling he might be getting double covered. Mm. Let's see. Now check me out here. I see B was kind of open, but... Oh, I tried to dive. I tried to dive. You saw the animation start. Honestly, I should be able to run this in myself pretty easy, right? Of course it's the end. All right, inside zone split. Washington's back. That's good news. I'm not liking this very much. It just seems like the kind of play will get blown up in the backfield. But let's see. Washington, let's get in the end zone, man. You can do this. Get in there. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. And I've also been noticing these read options are sometimes very hit or miss for myself as well. There we go! Get him in the end zone! I need to learn the celebrations, man. I should be doing the gritty right now. <laughs> there we go, dude. In the rain. I love it. Old school football here, gentlemen. Old school football. All right, defense let him drive down. That was a long drive, and they got a touchdown out of it. Let's see if we can answer before the half. Oh, you both would give up your blocks right then. I mean, at the very end of that, as my quarterback was on the ground, I saw why eventually got open. <laughs> I'd much rather... Can I... Oh, I can't audible. I'm going to flip this to the other side, honestly, but... Man, that guy wasn't even looking. Oh, you would drop the ball and... <laughs> The crazy thing was the, the guy that made the tackle and subsequently the fumble, uh, he reacted to the play and uh, it was behind him. <laughs> he wasn't even looking at it. And then, of course, they score right there really quickly. And now we've got 15 seconds. The coach just wants to run out the clock. Let's see what the first play looks like. Guess a decent low chunk. Decent chunk. That's all I want. All right. We're going to time out here. Coach is going to try to run this. No, we're going to try and drive down and boot that three. We've got plenty of time. Coach, those, that play is awful. We're not trying to get tackled in the middle of the field. We're looking to stretch the field. There it is. Dude, you have so much height on him. Catch the ball, dude. Did you see him running down the field? He has like two feet on that corner. Like height-wise, I mean. And 
<laughs> These are stats that make me look bad. I can't believe we're going into halftime losing. His stats look really good, but he had like a 46-yard run. So aside from that, he's got nine carries for 40 yards, which is not... It's not bad, but it's not amazing. I am frustrated, though. I am frustrated about that pick. My receivers could have held on to the ball. We were already in field goal range. Plenty of time. We could have taken a couple of shots into the end zone. I guess I'm mostly just salty that I threw a pick. I hate looking at my stats midway through the season, you know, after the game, end of the season especially. And if I see, like, over 10 interceptions, I'm just like, ugh. It just makes me mad, man. I think I have, like, seven touchdowns to five picks. I've run in, like, four or five touchdowns as well, but I don't like... Juke in! Pardon me likes that I can't control the other people on my team. It definitely adds to the immersion and everything. But another part of me is like, man, just... just just, just do other things. All right, Coleman. You realize you're supposed to stand there and catch the ball on the screen, not just... Where were you going? Where is he running? He was running the route that he's supposed to run right now. Number 82. Dude, 82 might be, like, really open here. Cross the line. Let me hurry up, coach. Let me do a hurry up. He was so close, I know. I threw it behind him, too, so he'd catch it and hopefully, you know, drop on the line, but no. Come on, defense. Defense. Oh, defense. Okay. More of that Joe Nero magic. You gotta break that tackle, man. All right. I mean, four yards is four yards. We haven't run the old jet pass here in a while. Of course, they're coming up, but we'll see. Yeah, yeah, you get inside. There you go. What's crazy with this offense is our slot receiver in these formations is always our tight end. It's Kane uh, Barong. I just call him Kane. Okay, Coleman will be open eventually. They might be blitzing on the left, but I need to give him time to actually get upfield. Give him time. There he is. I didn't have enough time because, you know, they sent the blitz there. He was going to be so wide open. I mean, of course, he dropped it because he hates me and. Everyone hates me, and I'm just not allowed to have nice things. But still, that could have been very, very huge if I just had an extra like, couple milliseconds, you know? The play action fake. Um, and the quarterback is under genuinely, I'm not trying to break immersion. I I don't know if you heard the button press, because I know you can hear it on my mic sometimes. I, I pressed Y to throw it to my tight end. Nothing happened. He just kind of stood there and did nothing. There he is, dude. No, did you? Oh, keep running, dude. Keep running. <laughs> I can't believe he fumbled that. I'm like, man, we're going to really give away this game. But then we picked it up and we advanced it. <laughs> All right. I don't think this play is going to go anywhere because coach likes to call these stupid plays that do nothing. I take it back. I take Oh, never mind. Stupid plays do nothing, coach. If it would have worked, you, you were brilliant. I should not even be calling these plays. I should be like using my, I should be overriding my coach and calling better plays right now. Dude, keep running outside. You have so much room. All right, hurry up offense. And snap it. Oh God. Not what I wanted to have happen at all there, man. They were literally blanketed. Like, they, they they were touching them. <laughs> like, not not a single receiver had a step on anybody that I saw. Of course, I see a lot more when I watch the, video, the videos back, but it's so difficult when you're actually in the moment. Okay, a field goal here is not the worst thing in the world. We got it. Defense, we really need you to hold, and you don't. Um, <laughs> we might be looking at a loss at home here, gentlemen, which is just absolutely against everything I know and believe. And I see you open there. I was hoping to be able to run a little bit. I'm looking for big chunk plays at this point. We need chunk plays, man. We've been running all game. A play fake here might be huge. The safety's not even on there with him. I need you to actually get this ball, dude. He actually got it. Hurry up. Actually, I think it technically would be faster to not do a hurry up. 
much on this play, and I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating... Hold the ball on to the both of you! Hold on to it, dude! He's a receiver as well, man. That's the worst of it. All right, let's see. He'll just keep swinging it. We don't got time. We don't got time. I'm going to get a block there. Get out of my way, everybody. <laughs> you want to talk about an iron curtain there. All right, we're going to look left first and the tight end. All right, it's going to be tight end. You can't go wrong with Kane, man. You can't. Defense. We lost our two-minute warning, unfortunately. How many timeouts? We got all of our timeouts. Defense. One stop. One stop. I, I, I guarantee we win this game if you stop them. All right. I wish I didn't say that because I feel like there's a lot of pressure on me. But this is where legends are born. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Yeah, bounds. There we go. Just got to drive down. Unfortunately, we can't win with a field goal here. We cannot win with a field goal. You know what? That corner that's so short, they might be in one-on-one -on -one over there again. Uh, They are not. Shoot. Throw. That was a throw. Okay, thank God. I'm really trying to look for shots downfield. God, they might be in one-on-one -on -one again. Here, I'm looking for whichever receiver looks like they're more in one-on-one, -on -one, and then probably running or dumping off to the running back. Uh, this is going to be a running back dump. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. You see what I mean? Like, the, the clock doesn't seem to, like, really stop at all in these situations. And big tight end. Why was the ball so poorly thrown, dude? It's because I overdid it. You see how like the, 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 the thing went red? It's because I, I I held it too long. And that's the end of it. Damn, dude. As soon as I won, I got happy feet. I wanted to like try to make a play in my feet and immediately that defensive end got around. <sighs> that's unfortunate, man. Feels bad. We're going to have to run it back next week. We're going to have to watch a lot more film, I think. <laughs> also, learn how to stop Devin Roche over here. I don't know if he's any relation to Bobby Boche, but what the hell, dude? What was he on that game? Ultimately, I would say the two losses so far this season, we shot ourselves in the foot. Here... We had a couple of fumbles. I threw a pick, but it was on a Hail Mary at the very end of the first half. It shouldn't count, right? Other than that, I didn't turn the ball over. 21 of 30, 209, two touchdowns. And then I didn't really scramble as much as I wanted to. But the receiver is putting the ball on the ground. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> They're claiming that we had one drop that whole game. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We had the fumbles. We had countless dropped passes. Yeah, you know, we just got to clean it up. We got to clean it up. Be better at practice. And uh, stop focusing on school as much. We don't need any of that. We need to focus on football. How's Coastal Carolina ever going to take down Bama? <laughs> if we're dropping passes and putting the ball on the ground. Won't ever happen. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for the next one. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.